the recording okay so today uh, what we are uh, we are going to do is uh, we have done the basic numerical functions in the previous class we have done the logical functions um, logical operators so now uh, we'll be moving into today's class will be very short because i will just concentrate on some very important uh, functions that we have to learn and these functions are vlookup index match functions and along with that we have some basic other functions so i have shared the file with all of you all so what i want is you all please download the file and work with me why because uh, these functions are not very simple firstly and secondly these functions are something which you will use throughout your lives till you are using excel unless they give you a be uh, better function than this um, we have many functions uh on top of we look up now but still we look up remains one of the functions that we use a lot on a daily basis right and at least most of the people you will hear from always will use we look up and also you, if you are sitting down for any interview or anything they will definitely ask you what is a we look up function right that is one of the most primary questions you will get in your uh, interviews when you say you know excel you should know these functions right so straight away let's move into um second let me start the recording here as well <clears throat> all right okay okay so now i have shared the file with you all so we'll be dealing with this file a very interesting one what do we see over here we have uh, so it's a small data set it's a very small data set it's just 44 43 rows are there data entries are there we have region we have the uh, different regions are there east west central we have representative names now what is representative name it's basically the name of the person who has made the sale then the item uh the item which is sold the number of units of that particular item unit price and the total sales is given to us right so total sales is basically something which we have calculated which is unit multiplied by the unit price so this is the amount of total sales made so this is a small data set which i have taken and now we also have the different items and the name of the suppliers who sell these items so for example if it's a pen set pen set is sold by ggc limited so we have different supplier names and the different items are given now what my task is my task is to take out the supplier supplier's name i want to take out the supplier's name for each of the sales made so for example when i say the first sale is made the sale is made for item pencil so here i will see the item is pencil then here i will match it one second then here i will match it with pencil and who is the supplier tnl limited so i will put tnl limited over here now are you gonna just simply see the item match it over here and then write the name of the supplier and if you're going to do for 43 rows just uh, assume the time you will just assume the time which you will take to do this right so what we do instead is we do vertical look up v look up or looking vertically similar to v look up we have something called as h look up which is horizontal look up and recently uh, we have a new function in excel which is x look up right cross look up so x look up has overtaken your uh, v look up and h look up but still v look up remains one of the functions that we use a lot on a daily basis so are you understanding what we have to do if you ask any kid to you know match the name of the supplier how will that person do how will that child do he will he or she will first see the name of the item over here pencil then he or she will search for pencil in this particular table and then corresponding to pencil what is the name of the supplier he will take out that name and put it over here that is what the entire process is now we will use the we look up function that will perform the entire same function for us yes arushi i cannot hear you
use the chat box. The sheet which you have shared is different. The sheet which I have shared is not different. Uh, I have. Sh are you opening it in on, uh, on your cell phone? Open it on your laptop. We have four sheets over here. We have numeric, VLOOKUP, INDEX MATCH. I have shared this sheet only. Change the sheet. There are different tabs, right? You are on the first tab. You are on this tab maybe. Right? Got it? The spreadsheet is same. The sheets, these are different sheets. See, these are different sheets. The sheets are different. Right? Okay. So here, what are we do? Uh, what are we doing is we are repeating this entire process, which a which a small child will do using a VLOOKUP function. So just see how we write the VLOOKUP function and what is the syntax. So VLOOKUP looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table. Why leftmost? I will. Uh, explain this later and then returns a value in the same row from a column you specify. So basically, firstly, we need a lookup value. What is a lookup value? The value which you are searching for. So we are searching for pencil in this particular table. That is what we are searching for first. And corresponding to pencil, I want the supplier's name. So lookup value is the value that you are searching for in your table. So we are searching for pencil in this table. So I will select this pencil. Right? I will select this pencil. I am searching for this pencil in my table which is given to us. Right? Clear? Okay. Now after this, after this I will select the table array. What is the table array? The table array is the table from which you want to take out the output from which you are searching for the lookup value. So basically it's the table where you will be you will be searching for pencil and then you co want to correspondingly extract some value. So which is this table? This table is this items table, the suppliers table. Now this table will remain fixed. Correct? This table will remain fixed. This table will not change as you go down for maybe the second row binder pencil pen so for all these rows this table will remain fixed we are searching for the item and the supplier from this table only so this has to remain constant this has to remain fixed so what are we gonna do is that we will keep this fixed by by using which shortcut f4 just one one time you press f4 all all these things are now fixed the table is fixed so even if you drag your cursor down the table will remain fixed right correct correct comma column index number so what is this column index number this column index number is the column from which you want to extract the output from your table so this is my table i want to extract my values from the second column of this particular table this is the second column of this table, right? This is the second column of this table, correct? Right? Yes or no? Right? So I will write 2. This column index number is the column from which you want to extract the value, which is second column of this table which I have selected. Not in the sheet. You will not sit down and calculate in the sheet. In the table you have selected the table which you have selected, what is the column number? And then lastly, very important, we have range lookup. What is this range lookup? This range lookup is do you want an approximate match or do you want an exact match? Now what happens is that most of the time, suppose here we have pen, we have pen set. These two are very similar to each other. Pen and pen set are very similar to each other. Only thing which is different is there is another word called as pen set. So what will happen if you are doing a approximate match is that sometimes you might not get the correct answer. So in case of a pen set, you might get the answer for a pen. So although here it will not matter because here both the suppliers are same. 
for both pen and pen set the supplier names are same so here it will not matter much but in cases where you want an exact match suppose there are two names riya rita you are searching for their marks or you are searching for their uh, roll numbers whatever it is so you always have to perform a exact match in such cases there are only some cases where we do an approximate match generally sometimes when we are dealing with numbers um for statistics we use uh, approximate match but most of the like 99% of the times you will be using exact match there are only very very few times which i don't think uh, you know coming forward you will be using so you will never be using approximate match only very very minute times very very sometimes you may have to use approximate match right even i have used it very a uh, few times so here we have false by so what i have done is see we have true and false so just you can use the down arrow and up arrow to select these you can you can select false you can select false and click on tab or you can type false or if not you can type zero zero means false one means true zero means false in generally in all the programming languages we have zero as false and one as true right so you can write zero you can write false or you can just simply select this and click on tab the moment you do this the false will itself be written over here close the bracket and hit enter and you have pencil tnl limited and what do i do next i just drag the cursor down and it gives me the answer if you want to match you can match the answers pencil tnl limited binder abc limited so that is how you do do it very very important if you all want you all can note down what each argument implies what does a lookup value means what does a table array means what does a column index number means and a range lookup now here range lookup is a uh not a compulsory variable it's a optional argument so you can skip providing this you can skip this and you will still get, get the same answer but most of the times you might not get the same answer why because by default by default if you're not putting any value for range lookup it will be using true or approximate match so you might not get the correct answer so that is why we are on a, always going to use false always there are only some times that we use true and i don't think um, you will be needing it moving forward right anything else just please copy down the syntax also what each parameter or each argument or each input means because it's very important later on i've seen students getting really confused with vlookup functions when it's done just write to yes in the chat box so that i know that you all have done with me all right now there is one thing um uh, which you should understand so firstly let us understand what is the advantage of vlookup it's simple to use 
now you might find it difficult but it's very very simple to use um it actually so it's a simple function yet it solves lot of things like when you want to extract certain values from a huge table uh when you have multiple sheets you can also you know look up values from multiple sheets so it's very helpful in that ma manner but what are the disadvantages of v lookup and why uh on top of v lookup we will be needing some other functions so why v lookup is uh why do we need an alternative for v lookup right what is the disadvantage the disadvantage is that the lookup value so this was the lookup value pencil pencil was the lookup value and we were looking up for pencil in this particular table right in this particular table now the lookup value should always be on the leftmost side of your table the lookup value should be on the leftmost side of the table so this was a table which we selected and the lookup value was on the leftmost side yes or no the lookup value was on the leftmost side yes so it should always be on the leftmost side what if what if see l l to show you all if we select this as the lookup value this was the lookup value and instead of selecting this as my table i will select this entire as my table and keep it fixed all right i'm doing the same thing i'm selecting the same table just that i'm also selecting the serial number column right and now so now tell me what will be the column index number from which i want to extract the supplier's name is it 2 or is it what is the column index number from which i want to extract the supplier's name from this table which i have selected 3 very good it's 3 it's 3 and now i will write false again and i will hit enter the moment you do that you will get an error why are we getting this error because your lookup value is not on the leftmost side of the table which you have selected you have selected this entire table what excel will do is that it will look for pencil in this particular column it will look for pencil in this particular column and when it will not get pencil over here it will throw a na value not applicable which means pencil value does not exist there is no such uh, value of pencil in your table because it is only searching for in the leftmost column now for example if i write pencil over here if i write pencil over here you will get the answer because excel is always searching for a value in the leftmost column excel is always searching for a value in the leftmost column correct correct is this fine one more very very important thing sometimes you make a mistake suppose here i have written pencil i am giving two spaces here see here i am writing pencil just look at this particular place just see my cursor i am writing pencil i am giving two spaces i am giving two spaces okay i am giving two spaces and i am hitting enter again i am getting a na value why although pencil is over here although pencil is written but we have two spaces on fr in front of it so this pencil and this pencil are not same because we have spaces in front of it so um you might get data sometimes where you will see that there are spaces in front of the word or maybe at the end of the word and so your answers are not match matching although you will see that there is pencil over here there is pencil over here still i am not getting the answer because there are spaces in front of it so this pencil and this pencil are now not same because spaces are taken into consideration and this is a very common mistake i have seen students making sometimes when they copy paste the data or maybe they are typing anything and they give unnecessary spaces in front of it and they face face such kind of issues now um what are different ways in which you can remove spaces there are different functions called as trim functions and all those text functions uh, we'll be doing it later on but now just to make you all understand that what are the disadvantages of vlookup first disadvantage it should be on the leftmost side so for for example for example my table would have been like this my table would have been 
like this you see my table would have been like this my suppliers name suppliers uh, column would have been here and this would have been the items column so basically you are searching for a pencil so the lookup value column the lookup value column is on the right of the val of the column from which you want to extract the value in such a case in such a case you will never be able to use the vlookup value see earlier we had this 1 2 3 item and supplier so you can simply select just this particular part of the table i am not asking you to always select the entire table you can always select some part of the table right so you can select item and supplier or maybe if there are some multiple things over here you can just select these item has to be always on the leftmost side of the selected table right correct i am not saying that item always have to be on the leftmost side of any table it always have to be on the leftmost side of the table which you have selected in your vlookup function so in this case you can still use vlookup function in this case you can still use vlookup function but what if what if if we have paste what if we have the supplier on the left and the lookup column on the right you can never use v lookup function in such a scenario in such a scenario you can never use a v lookup function so instead we are going to use a different function called as index match function index match function so what i will do is i will again just keep this as it is keep this as it is i will copy this sheet what i want you all to do this is a homework i have shown you all how to copy paste sheets right so here i have created a new sheet this is a homework which i want all of you all to do right and now i am just twisting this table a bit i am inserting this column over here i am inserting this column over here and i will teach you all today index match function in the next class i want you all to take out the supplier's name using index match function so i'll teach you all index match obviously and this is the homework the supplier's name is on the left the items are on the right so basically the lookup value the column with the lookup value is on the right and the output column is on the left so i'll teach you v lookup now and then you can go back and complete this task right all right so is v lookup clear what are the disadvantages the column always has to be on the leftmost side that is the first disadvantage second disadvantage is again it's basically the same thing only that the v lookup or the lookup column should always be on the leftmost side if your output column this is the output column if your output column is on the left of the lookup column you can never use the v lookup function right is it clear is it clear to everyone fine just write a yes if v lookup is clear we can move to index match great great now let's talk about index match function <clears throat> so firstly here again i'll just uh, go through the data with you all so it's a very big data which i've taken it's a uh, 195 column there are 195 countries which we have taken these are the country codes given to us uh, different country codes all right so we have just ignore this for the time being i'll show you all how to do this later on so we have country codes we have birth rate we have internet users and we have the income group so basically the birth rate is again out of 100 and this is um uh internet users and percentage of internet users and this is the income category high income low income etc so th this data has already been sorted uh and given to us <sighs> mm. 
right so i will be teaching sorting and filtering later on you all can just ignore for the time being what this uh, box is telling us just ignore that for the time being okay now my task is my task is i have different country codes i have taken different country codes over here from the entire table which i have what i want is corresponding to this uh, country code i want the birth rate or the internet users depending on that maybe it can be internet users or it can be uh, birth rate when i select basically when i select suppose esp and for esp i want a birth rate so i want the answer now we'll not be able to use v lookup always so here i will show you all how we can use index match right firstly we'll create a list we'll create a list of all the all the country codes so that in one cell itself we can have all the um country codes how we can do that go to the data tab go to the data tab in the data tools section in the data tools section we have data validation we have data validation select on this cursor and clear and select select data validation data validation this box opens up now in case of any value in case of any value you will select a list you will select a list and now here source in source you can select all these cells you can select all these cells the moment you select all these cells and click on okay data tab data validation allow list in the source you have to select these country codes and click on okay let's click on okay the moment you do you see you have a drop down over here and you can select all the country codes using this drop down amazing data out app just follow me please or write it down data validation just follow me what i'm saying i'm going very slow you all can write it down first and then apply it in excel data validation allow a list your cursor should be here your cursor should be here in case of source select all these values in case of source select all these values and click on okay click on okay now the next thing is in place of rates let me do one thing let me first show you all what index function is and then we can move to rates right so here here suppose firstly let us see what index function does right firstly let us see what index function does so i'll just simply uh delete these all right here index all right index function basically index function gives you the cell output for a uh, cell output for a column and row all right so for example just see this for example in the index function if you select this entire column basically gives you the cell output for a column and row intersection intersection yeah 
this was the word so for example if i select country code and if i select this row so what is the intersection of this column and this row this is the intersection right what is the intersection for this column and this row this is the intersection correct this is the intersection for this entire or if i say uh, intersection for this column and this row is 16.447 so you will get the output as 16.447 now how to do this see i will write index it returns a value or the reference of the cell at the intersection of a particular row and a column so for example now the first argument is the array what is a array a array is a range of cells or a table an array is a range of cells or a table so now for the time being this is my entire this entire is my table this entire is my table i have selected this entire table this is my entire table you can if you want you can fix this also using f4 now the next next argument is the row number the row number so in this entire table in this entire table just see if i write 2 this is my row number in this table this is row number 2 it doesn't matter what is the row actual row number it will always see the row number on the table which you have selected just like we look up we select the column number right so here the row number is 2 so basically this row this row right comma column number column number so what is the column number you want to select so basically if my column number suppose i give the column number as 3 i give the column number as 3 so this is my column number c 1 2 3 this is column number 3 this is column number 3 and i will close the bracket hit enter and you will get the answer as 16.447 which is basically the intersection of the third column and the second row which is basically the intersection of the third column and the second row so this is giving me the birth rate the birth rate of atg country atg what did i do for this i have selected the entire table first then the row number and the column number is this clear what index function does index function will give you the output of the cell which is the intersection of a row and a column right just give me a yes in the chat box okay others just give me a yes in the chat box all right great so now now my question to you all is suppose i want to take out the birth rate birth rate of country of country code kwt of country code kwt using index function so what do you need first you need the entire table we know the table second you need the row number so you will have to sit down and find which row in which row we have kwt yes or no yes or no because we will be needing the row number here i have written 2 you will be needing the row number and that row number is the row number corresponding to kwt where can i find kwt you will have to first find kwt and then you have to find the row number correct yes right so now this task of finding the row number or sometimes the column number we do this using the match function we do this using the match function match function this gives us this gives us the row number 
रो और कॉलम नंबर और फॉर अ लुकअप वैल्यू दिस गिव्स अस दिस गिव्स अस अ रो नंबर और अ कॉलम नंबर फॉर अ लुकअप वैल्यू फॉर अ लुकअप वैल्यू राइट राइट सो नाउ सी सो नाउ सी आई वॉन्ट द रो नंबर आई वॉन्ट द रो नंबर फॉर द कंट्री कोड के डब्ल्यू टी आई वॉन्ट द रो नंबर फॉर द कंट्री कोड के डब्ल्यू टी एस ऑन ओ सो आई वॉन्ट टू सी इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर कॉलम इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर कॉलम वेर डज के डब्ल्यू टी लाय राइट सो वॉट आई विल डू आई विल यूज मैच फंक्शन मैच फंक्शन द फर्स्ट आर्ग्यूमेंट इज द लुकअप वैल्यू विच वैल्यू यू हैव टू लुक फॉर यू हैव टू लुक फॉर दिस वैल्यू यू हैव टू लुक फॉर दिस वैल्यू देन वी हैव द लुकअप आर ए ऑलवेज रिमेंबर यू ऑल कैन राइट दिस डाउन द लुकअप आर ए इन द मैच फंक्शन विल ऑलवेज बी जस्ट वन कॉलम और जस्ट वन रो इट कैनॉट बी योर टेबल इट ऑलवेज हैज टू बी वन कॉलम और जस्ट वन रो it always has to be one column or one row here i want to look for kwt so my lookup value is kwt where do i want to look for kwt i want to look for kwt here i want to look for kwt here right right in this particular entire column comma match type again we have a match type so the match type can be less than exact greater than again we always use exact match or you are going to write zero you can write zero or you can write exact match right here we write zero why not less than greater than because less than greater than is sometimes used when we are dealing with numbers um again something which rarely you will use we always use exact match Sometimes when you're dealing with numbers and you just want approximate answer, you might you you know that the lookup value, the same lookup value does not exist. In such cases, we use other things. Always, other than that, we use the exact match. So we are going to write zero. We are going to write zero. Clear? Clear? And I'll close the bracket. Hit enter. The moment you hit enter, what do you see? Thirty seven. so we know that the column in the column that we have selected in the column that we have selected kwt lies in the 37th row so i'll just search for 37th row this is 37th row we have kwt over here see we have kwt and this is 37 row number 37 kwt yes or no yes or no correct so you get the column number you get the row number when you select column you get the row number you get the row number when you select a column when you select a column 37 37 is the row number which you get when i am selecting this particular column so i am selecting a column getting the row number if you select a row you will get the column number right if you select one row you will get the column number how see suppose i want to find suppose here we just have five columns right here we just have five columns what if i am having 20 columns 50 columns in such a case you will also have to search for the column number where does the birth rate rise in which column do we have birth rate so here what did i do here what did i do here i selected the entire table in the row number i selected the first row in the column number i selected the third column right but what if you don't know that in which column do we have birth rate suppose you don't know this you have multiple columns and you don't know in exactly which column do we have birth rate in such a case again we'll use match function so here i will write 
birth rate here i will write birth rate birth rate and i will see again using match function i will search for birth rate and what will be my lookup array in which row do i have to search for birth rate this row right right in this row i am searching for birth rate which is the third column yes or no yes or no right you cannot search it over here do you see anywhere birth rate written no you will not get the answer we are searching for birth rate in this entire row match type 0 close the bracket and you get the answer as 3 get the answer as 3 so what do we see we see that the birth rate is in the third column so when you are you get the row number you get the column number you get the column number when you are selecting a row you get the column number when you are selecting a row is this clear match function when you select a column you get the row number when you select a column you get the column number of the lookup value which you are searching for what is an index function index function is index function is using the getting you the output of the column number and the row number intersection of a column and intersection of a row right right so let me show you all one thing so if it if it is clear if index match is clear separately just write a yes now we will be combining these two functions together now we will be combining these two functions together just write a yes in the chat box great all right so now we have let's ignore this column for the time being we have kwt we have multiple i have selected multiple codes over here right now for these codes i want the birth rate so here i will use index and match together how do i do that see firstly i write index function firstly i write index function right now in the index function you don't always have to select a table you can also select a row or a column in an index function here what did we do we selected the entire column uh, table you can also select a column or a row right now understand what happened when we selected the entire table when we selected the entire table i gave the column number and i gave the row number so the intersection was my answer correct when i am giving a column just one column when i am giving just one column and in that column i am specifying a row number i will get the answer for that right right what did i do here i selected in the index function in the index function i selected the entire table then i mentioned the row number as 2 column number as 3 and i got the intersection as my answer right right what if in the index function i just select one column one column and i give the row number in that entire column i will get the output i will get that particular output c i'm selecting birth rate i'm selecting this birth rate column just one column not the entire table just one column right just one column okay comma comma then i want to give the row number what will be this row number the row number to which chn belongs i don't know where chn is i will have to search for chn over here So you just give the row number of CHN. So suppose if it is AUS Australia, suppose it's AUS. 
so this is row number 5 so for example I write 5 over here just see if I write 5 over here in the row number column number is a see column number is a optional argument I just simply close the bracket I don't give any column number hit enter what do we get Australia 13.2 Australia 13.2 how how I have selected this entire column and I'm giving the row number as 5 so in this entire column the row number 5 is this 13.2 so we are getting the output as 13.2 yes or no yes or no now instead of giving it 5 I want the exact row number where CHN is how to take out the row number of CHN how to take out the using the match function using the match function so here I will write match here I will write match what match are you searching for what match are you searching what is the lookup value this is the lookup value CHN CHN is the lookup value yes or no CHN is the lookup value now CHN is your lookup value what is your lookup array where have where do you have to search for your CHN what is your lookup array where do you have to search column B very good column B so I will select my entire column B I will select my entire column B see the formula bar see the formula bar I have selected entire column B comma match type will be 0 match type will be 0 close the bracket so what I have done in the index function I have selected the entire column which column birth rate when I was writing 5 I was getting 13.2 I don't want to write 5 I want to search for the row where CHN belongs here we did the same thing where KWT belongs 37 using the match function so I'm writing the match function within the index function just simply hit enter we have 12.1 so just search for CHN I think CHN stands for China uh, where do we see CHN do you all see CHN over here or maybe let's change no change this to hmm, BRB is what okay BRB Barbados BRB is Barbados and the answer is 12.1 1 8 it see 12.1 8 and when you are changing these values automatically the answer is also for India it is 20.2 let's search for India 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 I can't find India this is India mm -mm 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 -mm. okay whatever you'll have to search for India over here okay we have India over here 12.2 uh, 20.2 20.291 right is it clear is this clear so what did I do in index function you don't always have to select the entire column you can or entire table you can select one column give the row number and you will get the output select one column give the row number and you will get the output correct correct now I want to make it more difficult for you all I want to make it more difficult for you so what I'll do is I will again create a list over here I will again create a list over here I will again I have created I have just copy pasted so when you copy paste you paste everything the values the formulas everything so I have copy pasted this over here now in the rates column I want to again create a list so here I again want to create a list of birth rate and internet users of birth rate and internet users how do I do that again data tab data validation any value select list source should be birth rate and internet users 
have selected boy threat and internet users click on okay we get boy threat or internet users see birth rate or internet users right now i want to take out for india what is the birth rate and if i change this to internet users i want to take out the internet users so basically now what i want i want to i want to take out suppose if it's india or maybe let's keep it as barbados so i'll just keep brb so we have for barbados we have this column or this row row number 9 and column number 3 the intersection will give me 12.188 row number 9 column number 4 will give me 73 so that is what I, what i want over here using index match function so we'll have to use two match functions just see what i am doing just see what i am doing firstly i am writing index function i am selecting this entire table control shift right control shift uh, left selecting this entire table right now for the row number in this index function the row number is this barbados row number 9 how to take out the row number we have done now using the match function using the match function match this is my lookup value what is the what is the lookup array what is the lookup array in the chat box what is the lookup array i am searching for brb where column b very good column b if you give the column you get the row number always remember in the match function whenever you get confused which column to select which row to select always remember always remember when you want the row number you want to select the column when you want the column number you will select the row so here i want the row number of brb so i will select the column b i want the row number of brb so i will select column b right if you select the column you get the row number next you want a exact match you want an exact match zero bracket close comma so what this will do you have selected your entire table now in the index function you have now given the row number now just giving the row number is not sufficient we also have to give the column number so that the intersection will be your answer so again for the column number instead of giving 3 or 4 i again want to use match function this time like here we did for birth rate i'll be selecting internet users or this particular cell now here what do we want we want the column number so we will select the row we will select the row if you select this row you will get the answer as 4 in this row where do we have internet users in the fourth column like we did over here for the birth rate right like we did over here so in this entire row internet users is in the fourth column yes or no yes comma 0 close the bracket so what i have done i have selected the entire table for my index function then you have to give the row number which i am doing it using match function my row number is brb row number is 9 then you have to give the column number instead of specifying 2 3 i am again taking a function match function and this will give me the answer as 3 or 4 hit enter and you are getting 73 which is the answer see brb barbados 73 73 if you change this to birth rate you get the birth rate if you change this to some other country this will change this is how interactive you have made your excel complete this and let me know in the chat box i'll wait
Hello, ma'am. Yes. And can you say the formula of upper part twenty point two nine one? Sorry. Ma'am, formula. Don't take that. Which formula? And twenty point nine one index match wala. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Here, what are we doing? We are just selecting one column. When you, in the index function, when you are just selecting one column, in the index function, when you are selecting just one column, then you have to just give the row number and you will get the output. So I have selected in the index function this column. My row number is this row, and I am getting the answer, right? So just do it. I will just come back in two minutes. Just let me know once this is done. Both the things are done, right?
done sif i have just got one reply in the chat box what about others have you all done it so that is why i just wanted to keep three to four functions in this class because i knew we look up index match is really heavy to take first time and when you will practice it again i will share this sheet again with you all then actually you know you will be able to retain everything hello ma'am ma'am can you explain again the function of match and index function one mix wala see so basically index function what it does is you select the entire table if you are selecting an entire table you give the column number and the row number the intersection will be your answer right if you are giving just one column just give the row number your answer will be there if you are uh, giving one row uh, you are just selecting one row then you have to give the column number and you will get your answer so that is about index function what index function does it will give you the output of a cell which is the intersection of a column and a row clear index function what is match function match function will give you the row number or the column number if you are selecting a column it will give you the row number if you are selecting a row it will give you the column number right that is your match function now here what did we do is that i wanted the birth rate of brb right so i selected the entire table as my in my index function i have selected the entire table now i want to give the row number when you don't know the row number exactly you will use the match function in the match function i have selected brb selected this entire column if you select the column you will get the row number as 9 right this match function will give you the input as 9 brb next i want to give the column number this is column number 9 and intersection 3 so this will be my output so how to then take out the column number again using the match function i have selected birth rate as the lookup value i have selected this entire row this first row so this will give me column as 3 so column 3 row 9 the intersection is 12.188 this is your answer correct index function will give you the output of the cell If you're selecting a table, you have to give the column number and the row number both. If you're selecting just one column, like we did over here for twenty point two nine, you just have to give the row number. If you're selecting one row, you have to give the column number. But in case of a table, you have to give both, and you can take out the row number and the column number using match functions. Match functions will give you row number and column number. Right? Is it clear? Any doubt? tell me tell me any doubt is it fine yes ma'am no doubt okay great so um actually i wanted to do some other functions as well but i think it's already very heavy on all of you i will share this sheet your task is to complete this again and second task this is your homework i want to take out the supplier over here <clears throat> I want to take out the supplier over here. This is the supplier and this is the item. So how will you do it? Just think about it, and we can discuss it in the next class. I will share this sheet with you all. I will save this and I will share it with you all. Right? Right? Okay. Thank you. I want all of you all to solve this in my next before my next class, maybe day after tomorrow, and I will discuss it in the class.